The date was October 31, 1517, and Luther had just lit the fuse of what would become the Protestant Reformation. His list of criticisms, known as the 95 Theses, would reverberate across world history. The church would split, wars would be fought and people would be burned at the stake. It was the birth of Protestant Christianity. Religiously speaking, the Reformation led to the translation of the Bible into languages other than Latin, allowing many people to engage with scripture for the first time. It also brought an end to the controversial sale of a euro indulgences euro a euro payments the church said reduced punishment for sins after death, which Luther regarded as corrupt. More generally, the Reformation contributed to the expansion of literacy, with people no longer needing to rely on priests to read and interpret the Bible. Luther promoted universal education for girls and boys at a time when education was reserved for the wealthy, and believed in the connection between literacy and empowerment, both spiritually and socially. Luther a Euro trademark S act is taught as one of the cornerstones of world history, even though most historians now agree that it was a relatively unremarkable event which was canonized at a later date for political ends. Nevertheless, it remains a lasting symbol of resistance 500 years later. So how is an anniversary of that magnitude being celebrated? Get your history fix in one place, sign up for the weekly Time History newsletter Thought a Euro trademark s a line that the Catholic Church and some of the biggest Protestant denominations are also keen to stress. On last year a Euro trademark s 499th anniversary, Pope Francis joined leaders of the Lutheran World Federation in Sweden, where Lutheranism is the dominant religion, to hold a joint commemorative service. In his address, Francis said, A Euro we have the opportunity to mend a critical moment of our history by moving beyond the controversies and disagreements that have often prevented us from understanding one another A Euro not long after Francis a Euro trademark address. The Protestant Archbishop of Canterbury in England expressed remorse for the violence committed there in the name of the Reformation. Hundreds of churches and monasteries were demolished in the 1500s, and many people gruesomely killed, during England a Euro trademark s pain transition from Catholicism to Protestantism. After 500 years of division there seems to be a consensus from the top that this anniversary will be one of reconciliation. But official church celebrations arena Euro trademark T the only ways in which the milestone is being marked. Americans are also doing their bit. A musical entitled Luther, the rock opera premiered in Wittenberg earlier this year. The North Dakota pastor responsible for the two and a half hour production describes it as a Euro Hamilton meets Jesus Christ superstar meets Monty Python. A Euro performances in Berlin and Wittenberg will mark the anniversary. Back in Germany, the broadcaster ZDF is airing a two-part serial entitled A Euro Reformation Euro commissioned especially for the anniversary, starring Maximilian Brckn as Martin Luther. It is also airing in the UK on the BBC, and both channels have also commissioned special documentaries to mark the occasion. The town of Wittenberg itself is understandably excited. In fact it a Euro trademark s already in the 10th year of a Euro Luther decade a Euro it proclaimed in 2008. On the anniversary, a Euro Reformation Festival a Euro will see a Euro jugglers, musicians, hosts, craftsmen and people from the middle ages a Euro gather in the town center, before the church opens for a commemorative concert in the evening.